Is Gifton Island just as good as the Maldives? Gifton Island is sometimes referred to as the Maldives of the Red Sea, mm -hmm. which is where we are headed today on our excursion. We are finally in Hergada. We've been doing some real good relaxing after the hustle and bustle of Cairo and Luxor. Yeah. It's felt fantastic. The place we're staying is great. Some of the reviews were a little iffy and none of them have been true. <laughs> yeah. So far. So it's it's been, been really good. It's been perfect. So. And we have a pretty good insight for today because yeah. we actually have been to the Maldives. We went on our honeymoon and spent five days there. Um, so we have a good comparison. Yeah, we're going to do some snorkeling on this boat tour and check it out. Yep. Hopefully it's as good as Maldives, if not at least close. Exactly. It's going to yeah. be hard to live up to the hype though because Maldives snorkeling was something else. Incredible. Beautiful. The snorkeling, so. this is the only time the snorkeling was better than the diving that we did there. Yeah, at least where we were because we did go yes. offshore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, the beaches and the water should be pretty similar, I think, from what I've seen in pictures, but mm -hmm. I guess we'll see. We're going to leave the camera at home and just take the GoPro because it's a little hard to maneuver it around on the boat and bring it back and forth from the beach, especially if you get to swim there. So we'll see what we can do with the new yeah. GoPro and hopefully it turns out well for you guys. Exactly. has to be the boat ride which so far is much smoother but to be fair it is a different season than when we were in Maldives. Yeah we were there in um, late June going into July. Storm so Jan January now. Yeah. yeah and that's stormy season there and different style of boat. Obviously this one's like a much larger boat. We brought a small speed boat just for the main island to our island. Rough. <laughs> it was so rough. I've never been on a rubber boat. It's a little scary yeah. but this is very smooth. So. This is our first stop. Um, our itinerary today is Banana Boat will start, Tubin. Um, we have two snorkeling stops, stop at Kinton Island, and we're doing Paris Island to end up off. So hopefully we can bring the GoPro home with us. Check it out. It should be a lot of fun today. So we just finished up our second snorkeling stop, so that is it. Other than what we get to do on Gifton Island, which is hopefully, hopefully more snorkeling. Mm -hmm. We also did a little bit of snorkeling yesterday right at our resort, and not a ton of fish, but there was those, um, what are they called? Giant sea clams, oh, like the, the really colorful ones. ones. They were stunning. Yeah, we'll try and get some footage of those tomorrow. Yeah. Um, comparison to Maldives so far, although we're still not at Gifton Island, which is not technically the, the Maldives of the Red Sea, but the snorkeling was really good. It's, it's a pretty small little coral we're swimming around. Um, the downside, mainly just tour related, is really easy. There are like, so many people and lots of people. And just like swimming on top of you, in front of you, like it's... Yeah, you can't navigate direction. But so, other than that, I mean, there, there was some really that, pretty fish. Mm -hmm. um, plastic, right? Similar to what we saw in Maldives on a lot smaller scale. Yeah, and in Maldives, we were lucky enough that we saw sharks. But then again, because we were snorkeling right from our um, resort, we went whenever we wanted, and to get the sharks, we had to go out. We went at dusk. Yeah. Um, and much, much and we also higher. saw like a six foot stick ray, which was really cool. Yeah, it was and massive. really, there was big fish. So this was like lots of fish, but smaller. Like we saw parrot fish, yeah. which we saw in all these too, but these ones were like, I don't know. Smaller. Yeah, the ones there were huge. So. Massive. It was massive teeth. But yeah, we'll, when we get to get an island, we'll see if we can do some more snorkeling and uh, we'll get a little more comparison for you. Yeah, but so far, Maldives still higher. This was still very good though. Yeah.
beautiful. The, the beaches are really nice. The water is super, super clear. It's shallow. You can walk out a long mm -hmm. way. It's so blue. It's pretty, um, but it's not the Maldives. However, in itself, it is worth seeing. Um, it's very peaceful. It's nice. Yeah, it's a good day. So today we got a transfer out to the boat. We have we were on this big boat. We got lunch, two snorkel stops, banana a banana boat. Bin. Then we stopped at the island and then shortly, almost two hours mm -hmm. it's a good stop shortly we're going to go um parasailing oh and at the island you can have like there's drink there's shops for um, like drinks and there's ice cream there and there's lots of things yeah and honestly this whole excursion today this is like where i was eight going our excursion was 33 canadian dollars for everything the tubing per parasailing person. snorkeling the island lunch and the lunch is incredible so cost wise we are looking oh goodness, at significantly it's... less than going to the maldives or even anywhere in the caribbean for that matter yeah <laughs> like, we're doing a day excursion it is yeah it's fantastic super reasonable so we've got parasailing left which i've never done so i'm super excited we have a for. couple times but i love it so uh, hopefully we can bring the gopro up with us and get a couple nice clips from up there mm -hmm. you guys will be able to see the water yeah and that'll be it for our day yeah